In this tutorial, we'll look at how to ready your product for listing on your Magento website. Open the Magento Properties page in the Product Toolbox. The first page to display is the General Product Information tab. Most of the product information is pulled from the Product Summary page, but you can edit any field specifically for Magento. The Status field is a Magento field that needs to be set as enabled in order to display the product on your Magento site's front end. The Seller Cloud Magento Enabled setting, however, is a Seller Cloud setting that allows your item to sell on Magento. By default, the safety quantity set on the Magento settings page will be set on all the products. You can set safety quantities individually by unchecking the Use Default checkbox and entering a safety quantity. Now select a category from your Magento category tree. Check this option to enable free shipping on the product. Let's move on to the Managed Price tab. The Magento price is pulled from the site price on the product summary page, but you can edit it for Magento. You can also create a special price for a specified date range with these fields. If most of your items are in a specific tax class, you can set a default tax class on the Magento General Settings page. Products that do not fall within the default tax class can be set individually on the product level in the Tax Class field on the Magento Properties page. Aside from the ability to set special price discounts, Magento offers a tiered pricing structure. Let's explain how this works. Price tiers are special discount pricing for buyers of larger quantities and are exclusive to customer groups. Customer groups are configured in your Magento admin. In the example shown, there are four customer groups. You would then need to input those groups into Seller Cloud by navigating to the Company Settings Toolbox, clicking on the Magento tab, and selecting Tier Pricing Customer Group from the submenu. Now we can configure your customer groups in Seller Cloud. If you have multiple Magento websites, you'll need to select the appropriate website ID. Enter the group's numeric ID and name in these fields. If you want this group to have a discount globally for all of your products, Enter a discount value and the quantity the customer needs to purchase to qualify for the discount. Check the Enable Default Discount and Save. The customer group will display in the existing group's grid. If you would like to offer discounts to a certain group only on selected products, disable the default discount. Now open the Magento Properties page on the product and click on the Manage Tier Pricing tab. Select the group you want to give the discount to and enter the discount. For example, when purchasing two units, the price will be discounted, either to a dollar price or by a percentage of the regular price. Metadata can be managed from this tab. The product's images can be managed under the Images tab. All images will display in the grid and you can select the base, small, and thumbnail images. The Inventory tab manages the minimum and maximum quantities for a shopping cart. When a value is entered into this field, the product will be considered out of stock when the inventory level is at that value. The Stock is Available checkbox is enabled by default and must remain enabled for the product to display on the front end of your Magento website. The Magento platform allows users to create their own attributes, like the diameter, for example. If the attribute you created is not on the Magento Properties page, you can map the attribute in the following way. Open Magento General Settings and select Attributes Mapping on the Sum menu. This dropdown contains properties tables with virtually all product attributes fields, from general attributes to channel specific. Select a table that has the attribute field you want to send to Magento. Locate the Seller Cloud attribute and enter the corresponding Magento attribute exactly as it was created in the Magento admin. Once the attribute is mapped, Seller Cloud will export whatever information is in that field to Magento. If there is a unique attribute on your Magento portal that does not exist in Seller Cloud, it can be configured for you as a custom column. Custom columns can be created by your server administrator or by the Seller Cloud support team. Once the column is created, it will display on the product homepage as well as on the Magento Properties page. After populating the custom field, 
You can then map it through the Magento Attributes page by locating the custom column in the User Defined table. To edit your product's Magento properties in bulk, use the Bulk Update Products page on the Inventory menu. This feature is explained in the Bulk Update Feature video tutorial. Column headers for the Bulk Update file are also defined on our documentation site at wiki.sellercloud.com. If you have multiple Magento websites configured in SellerCloud, the products will be visible on both websites. After your product is ready to post, select Post Product to Magento from the Action menu. To post multiple products in bulk, select the products from the Manage Inventory page and click Launch on Magento. On the Manage Inventory page, you can use the Magento dropdown on the Advanced Search tab to filter searches for products by their Magento status. Products that are enabled will have the Magento icon displayed in the item row, while products that are not enabled will have an X through the icon. Clicking on the icon will open the Magento Properties page. Products that are posted to Magento will have a URL link displayed beneath the Magento icon. Click on this link to see the product live on Magento. For more information on Magento Properties and posting to Magento, please visit wiki.sellercloud.com.